It's been almost 10 years since the first parish families started meeting and dreaming about building a church in Sienna Plantation. This dream is about to come true. The excitement and anticipation are growing as we move forward with construction and the start of the capital campaign. As a fellow parishioner at St. Angela Marici, it is easy to see the pride we have in the church and the love, warmth, and support the parishioners have for one another. When I first uh, arrived at uh, St. Angela Marici, one of the things that impressed me and that so many of the parishioners commented to me about was how this parish feels like a family to them. The reality is we're a large family that's in a one-room apartment. In September of 2010, when we moved from the Plex into our new Parish Life Center, our registered families of the parish were around 465. Within a two to three month period, we doubled that registration. As of today, we've doubled that again. It seems like every Sunday Mass, the church is full. Also, there's a lot of other ministries in church that sometimes we don't have enough room or we don't have room for meetings. The biggest thing is to have a larger facility to accommodate more parishioners. It only holds about 600 people, but this church is being designed to hold almost all of that. Building a new church is always building a new community, bringing all the children together without any difference. They all are free to come to this new house of the prayer. This is not just about space and another building. This is about us being able to, f to fulfill those missions of St. Angel and Marici. With the new church and religious education building, we will have the opportunity to grow in our Catholic faith and invite others to join us. And I know in the eyes of young adults, they're gonna want what they will call a real church so that they could get married in and enjoy that celebration with family and friends. We have to have a place that people feel comfortable coming in, praising God in, where we can sing, where we can celebrate. Anytime you make a progressive step like that, there's just something about it that enhances the worship experience. Well, with the PLC renovation, there'll be a youth room. There'll be a space that's literally designated to our teens, which is awesome and exciting because they can literally walk across the street from Baines and just come over and hang out until mom and dad can pick them up. One single space is shared multiple, multiple, multiple times. And so you're constantly having to set up and take down. So having more room, we can allow for more opportunities. So for bigger parish missions, for bigger Bible studies. So it's, it's going to be fantastic. We all play a role in this campaign and need everyone's participation to make it a success. I think it's our call and I think it's our duty to give to this campaign. I think pride's part of it. I mean, if you're part of a community, you should be all into that community. Uh, my encouragement to everyone to participate in the campaign is really based on the call of our baptism, and that's to bring Christ in, into the world through us. We all work for the future generation. I'm very excited. I will be very proud to say that I am part of this church. I think our hope and desire and dream is that our children love this parish so much. For this to be their community parish where our daughters get married in this church, where their kids you know, receive their sacraments, that's just, that's the way it should be. Uh, participating in the St. Angelo Marici Capital Campaign is very important to my family because it is a way in which we can express our love for Jesus Christ and His church. So join in this campaign and help us all realize the vision that began almost 10 years ago. What better way to show your love and support of St. Angela Marici? Well, I think the parishioners uh, are going to be proud of what they have accomplished. I think they are going to be uh, amazed at what God accomplished through them. 